This report is sponsored by Newsy, the only free 24-7 over-the-air news network. Get your news with Newsy, the only 24-7 news network that's free. You can use your TV's digital antenna or your favorite streaming device. Newsy is the essential relevant journalism you are searching for. Solid facts without the opinion. Learn more at Newsy.com. Dave Roberts told the LA Times he's hoping to work on a contract extension with the Dodgers. He has one year left on his current contract. Carmelo Anthony calls Moses Malone for the ninth place in the NBA's all-time scoring list. Melo dies in his first half of the race for their first win. And Tom Brady became the first quarterback to reach 603 touchdown passes. Brady had to give his record ball back from a fan that faced his first half of the game. Well, Brady runs to the family. Casey runs to the family. Extraordinary runs to the family. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz Lanes of SUV. Every member is waiting for a bus. You can learn more at mlbusa.com. Hey, it's Stevie Sharp. If you've decided to sell your house, I know it is tempting to just get listed as is or even take one of those cash-out deals. But why sell yourself short when making just the right upgrades will maximize its sale value? You mean like flipping our own home deal? We don't have the expertise or the cash for that. I know, but my friends at Revive do. Revive knows exactly what to change, what to spend, and where to spend it. They'll manage everything for you and front all the costs. Yes, Revive fronts the cost. They can pay back from escrow, but the profit gained is all yours. How much profit? The average client makes over 200% profit on what Revive invests on their behalf. Reach out to iloverevive.com today and see if your home qualifies. To make the most from the sale of your home, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. All right. This is an hour. Managing partner at OPO Gas. So we've had a 98% success rate on the other side of the country.
Sound is hard and can leave you feeling isolated, and divorce delivers one of life's hardest blows. The relationships you counted on are suddenly gone, but you don't have to walk through this alone. For more than 30 years, Cordell and Cordell has guided men through the challenges of divorce. You're not alone. Call Cordell and Cordell.
and became the 11th largest crypto coin. It's a means of value and had been investable in 2021. They also say a lower dollar price tokens are attractive to retail because investors can buy more than 20,000 Shiba Inus for a dollar. Shiba Inu skyrocketed 50% from Saturday to Sunday and traded as high as, get this, point zero 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 four 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 two, And that somehow made it skyrocket 50%. Another cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, also jumped over the weekend. Its market value is sitting at about $33 billion. McDonald's workers say that they are going to strike to protest alleged sexual harassment with the goal of unionizing. This will be a one-day strike this week, and they say that it's going to happen in 10 cities across the nation. And while they haven't said exactly what cities those would be, I think it's an, that it's notable that you've got Nevada, California, and Arizona, which already in September had lawsuits filed against them for a, a, allegations of sexual harassment and how they were handled. So I'm wondering if, well, they're not saying exactly what those 10 cities are, that at least in Nevada, Arizona, and California, we could see cities affected. And finally, this is the blasphemous story of the morning. The cost of meat increased 12.6% between September of 2020 and September of 2021. The cost of pork went up 12.7% in that same period. Poultry prices went up 6.1%, but overall, you saw the cost of beef prices go up 17.6%. Now, beef roast, which brisket falls into, went up 20.8% over the past month. And this article that I was reading last night say that some barbecue places around the country are having to take brisket off their menu because they say, we can't possibly sell it. We can't, there's no way to monetize without jacking the price up. And who's going to pay, you know, I don't know, double the price for a plate of brisket? Well, they say there's a critical labor shortage, which is slowing down production, and that's making the goods scarce. And the competition has driven up the price for consumers. Retailers and food services are competing for a limited amount of meat. So they say if you put all that together, and you look at the market now, next time you go to your barbecue place, you might see one of two things. Either they don't have exactly the meat that you were thinking they might, or... It's just going to be a whole lot more expensive, and those are the reasons why. This is KFI and KOSC HD2 Los Angeles. Just by, I just don't think the price of barbecue going up is, uh, that's probably the worst news of the morning. He agrees with me so much, he has no worth. I'm pretty sure it's like that. We're having some connect problems here this morning, Jen. Uh, good morning to you. If you're stuck at home, oh boy, I'd uh, get going earlier. It's going to be a wet one, that's for sure. The storm is rolling fast. Uh, first, LAX is really, really busy here this morning, so be prepared for that. The upper level is still down. And going back to what I hope you caught uh, Thornton's warning you about, New Hall Pass. South 14 getting real slow, and it should be this early hour coming out from Golden Valley. But the problem was coming out of the New Hall Pass, south around Balboa, so a lot going on there. But the good news, once you get that, said the five is good, even the South 405 leaving San Fernando Valley, we're off to a fairly good start, but again, be prepared. I think it's going to be a light one. KFI in the sky. Hope to get you there faster. I'm Jeff Fah. <laughs> because it's in Southern California. Let me tell you what happens when it warms up. Here in Southern California, termites come out. They're just sitting there dormant, ready to go, and have your house for lunch. And uh, they, once they get into your home, boy, they just don't stop eating, and damage starts immediately. So let me suggest Pacific Coast termites. Give them a call, and they're going to give you a free home inspection. And one of two things happen. One, they tell you you don't have termites. They get great news. Or they tell you you do have termites, but it's early days. And this is when you tap them. Uh, now, if you know you have termites, that's an easy one. You see little shavings at the bottom of your baseboard. You see bugs flying around. That's free home inspection. That's worth it. Certain restrictions apply. And when they do come out and treat your home for termites, no camping. 
absolutely none. No double bagging your food, no pet sitting, no hotels, nothing. You can actually be at home while they do their work. Mention KFI, 10% off the treatments, two-year guarantee on their work. Call 800-PACIFIC, 800-PACIFIC, PacificCoastTermite.com, 800-PACIFIC. So, yeah, weather from KFI, that's our big story. Rainy and windy today. Highs will be in the 60s, and we do have a high surf advisory. The starts at 11 this morning and lasts till 3 tomorrow morning. We lead local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. This has been your wake-up call. Handle on the news starts now. Handle on the news. Handle on the news. And now, here's Bill Handel. Monday, October 25, and uh, coming up, coming up on uh, what, Saturday night, is that uh, October 31st, Halloween Saturday? I think it's a Sunday. Is it Sunday? Yeah. All right, anyway, uh, my daughter is having a, um, a Halloween party uh, outside, and uh, it's going to be 55 degrees. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and say, if anybody has the uh, outdoor heater, let me know. Although I have no idea how to get it to my house. What? You don't have I don't have a heater? No, I don't have outdoor heater. Just never use the outside. You know, I've been in this, I've been in our pool five times in 20 years. <laughs> you know how much it is per swim? That is such a nice pool and grotto to be wasted. Yeah, I know. I know. Why don't you invite us over? We all come swimming. Why would I invite you over? Okay. Okay. Good morning, uh, Jennifer. Good morning, Andy. And uh, there's uh, the infamous and wonderful Wayne Resnick. Good morning. Don't even bother to chlorinate that pool. Oh, no. It's, uh, well, we're not really, because I think it's either an ozone filter or a uh, salt water. I have no idea. I don't pay attention to it. Actually, what I should have done is hired an artist and simply paint a mural in my backyard of a swimming pool. Oh, that, that would have been, been so much cheaper. Yeah. So much cheaper. Uh, Tyler, good morning. Good morning, Bill. And uh, good morning, Alex. Morning. And uh, the price of weed you, uh, you reported on, and I'm sure you're be reporting on it, makes gone crazy. Uh, so I went to lunch with uh, Steve Gregory Saturday at a barbecue place up the street. Uh, you're right, no brisket. Uh, it was barbecued smell and ears oh. and hooks. So probably the price of those even went up. Probably. And I have to tell you, and I don't give up my meat. I mean, I have no problem not feeding my kids, but I don't give up my meat. Tyler keeps telling me if I pull out that. Just <laughs> oh, I'm running a live recording. Absolutely. Um, yes, nobody's forcing you or even asking you to give up your meat. Well, no, there might be some vegans who would request that you give up. But their pleas will fall on death. Yeah, that's what I tell myself. Your ears on your head and the pig ears that you have amassed for your snack. Really well. well. It's all spam. <laughs> I don't know if spam's gone out. You're the only guy who likes spam. I do like it because it reminds you of spam. Yeah, I do like spam. I do. Okay, guys, uh, let's do a handle on the news on this uh, Monday and uh, Monday rainy morning. Uh, certainly over California and Northern California. Uh, Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne, and me. Lee Story. And the worst storm in recorded history has hit Northern California. Never happened before like this. There's no climate change. Doesn't exist, does it? As I said earlier, people have been shutting up about climate change. I'm not hearing very many people say no climate change. Uh, where a couple of years ago, it was nothing but, folks, oh, doesn't happen, it's not true, you're making it up. Uh-uh, not anymore. And we're going to get, uh, Jennifer, when are we going to get it? So, newness, but it's going to be far less severe than what they got in Northern California. It's losing stamina as it heads our way. The areas they're most concerned about, and they're really not even all that concerned, Santa Barbara County and Ventura County, in the burn areas, uh, they've already had some evacuation orders in that area, just as a precaution. But we're probably only going to see maybe a half an inch, maybe a little more than that in L.A. today. But it'll be from noon until about five. Now, uh, something about Southern California, I want to point out, uh, geographically, we're actually in great shape when it comes to storms. Certainly, we don't get the hurricanes uh, and the major depressions that are coming up the Gulf. Uh, and we almost don't have even the Pacific. Uh, and we don't get the uh, heat storms uh, in Northern California, the 
it's worse than we do in, in storms because of the weather, the weather pattern coming through the north. Uh, I mean, we're now. That's not to say we're going to have a 12.9 uh, Richter scale earthquake in the next little while, where uh, Los Angeles is the city of rubble. I mean, the entire city. Don't want to make you feel bad. Hmm. A little depressing, huh? Let's just move on. All right. So, according to a witness, actor Alex Baldwin was practicing with a gun when it went off on the film set of his movie Rust and killed sen the cinematographer and injured the director. So, here's what this, this... Alex Baldwin was apparently sitting in the pew of a church, and he was supposed to raise the gun and point it at the camera and fire. Now, according to people on the set, they said that David Hall, who was the assistant director, had handed the weapon to Alex Baldwin and said this is a cold gun, indicating that it was safe to use. And people said that Alec Baldwin seemed to be very responsible when it came to his handling of yeah, the gun. Yeah, let me interrupt you for a moment. I'm going to do this at 7 o'clock. And I'm going to go through the whole thing and talk about liability and talk about Hollywood, the land first. of nepotism. Uh, it is truly who you know. Doesn't matter your skill set, doesn't matter your background, it's who you know. And uh, then the liability is who's going to get me. And strangely enough, it's Alex Baldwin himself. Or it's, it's probably going to get me on the lawsuit. Wait a minute, how's that possible? I mean, he's totally innocent. If he is, I was trying at 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. okay. James Michael Tyler, uh, best known as Gunther from Friends, has died at 69 o'clock. Mm. Now, he's a minor player, isn't that what I'm saying? I think Friends, anybody who is uh, even half a fan of Friends is very familiar with them. Uh, I, I think that so, goes to show you more uh, how popular Friends is. What an iconic television show Friends was. Than it is that he died. Not that it's not horrible. He died at 59. I mean, that's way, way, way too young. He, he was, it was interesting because this character was on the show 33 times before the character ever spoke a line. That was fascinating. Well, I told you, uh, just a real quick story. I went to high school with a guy uh, who was probably the finest actor I've ever, ever seen. Uh, and he got a scholarship to the Royal Shakespeare Academy. I mean, this guy was a serious, serious actor. Right? And uh, the NFL found him an incredible career. He got one part in television or film. One. Do you remember the Bob Newhart show? Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay, there were the three brothers, Daryl, Daryl, and Daryl. Yeah, oh, and Daryl, one of the Daryl? Uh, yeah. It was one brother spoke and the other two were silent. Yeah. He was one of the silent ones. Oh, oh he was so a Daryl. Yeah. That's great. Coming from the yeah. right. Yeah. Remember, he spoke the line. Did he have a good stage career? I don't think so. Hmm. I think he was, uh, and I, I, I thought, I mean, it's phenomenal. It's really it's, it's all right. It's, uh, it's who you know and right place, right time. Right, kid? You're on the show? Right. Yes, Dad? <laughs> Alright, Dr. Fauci said over the weekend, vaccines for children will very likely be available the first or second week of November. He said if all goes well, and we get the regulatory approval and recommendations from the CDC, it's entirely possible that those vaccines will be available for kids between 5 and 11 yeah. within the first or second week of November. What percentage do you think uh, of the kids are going to be vaccinated? Ain't gonna be, it's not going to be much. Because everybody who is vaccine resistant, even those people who are okay and gotten vaccines, stop at the vaccine for their kids. I have many, many friends who are like, absolutely, that was a kid. And I got vaccinated, it's fine. No way I'm right. going to my kids. Uh, yeah, so it's a whole different mindset. I, a lot of it has to do with kids. That it's fairly rare when kids get uh, uh, COVID. And when they do, uh, the symptoms are very, very mild or very symptomatic, uh, asymptomatic. The question is, transmitting COVID, especially the Delta variant, which is very contagious. And we just fly through uh, the air. What do I do with this? Okay, I think we're going to stop that. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to take a break. Uh, Jennifer, you're up.